Hello, welcome everyone to my uh, second, no, third D&D campaign. A couple of things before we begin. One, all VODs of the session will be cut down and uploaded to the main channel around a week after their premiere. So if you're not able to catch them live, don't worry. They will be in their arguably more polished form later. If you don't want the polish and you want the, the mess, um, I will be uploading the full VOD uh, on my VODs channel, Joe Cat Streams soon after the cut down VOD. Two, you do not have to have watched or listened to either Belkinus Necrohunt or Golden K to be able to enjoy or understand what's going on in this game. It is totally original, new campaign, and although it may contain references or acknowledgement of the other games, it will not require any homework. So, without further ado, welcome one and all to the lustrous expanse where magic and monsters Taverns and Tarasks, and yes, even Dungeons and Dragons, are reality. Today, I bring to you a tale of such wonders, where a small group of outstanding individuals use their might, their swiftness, their wits, and perhaps even their cunning to achieve amazing feats. Welcome to the Heart of Alinti. The year is 253, and to the northeast coast lies a kingdom like none else on the continent. Alinthi, home of the life tree Quarencia. The massive natural structure, for as far as history knows, has brought fertility to the land around it, invigorating the plants and animals of the vast locations its roots can reach, and even enhancing the magic and health of the people lucky enough to live under its canopy. For 300 years, the people of Alinthi have kept it safe from two major threats. The first being that of the blot, a unique weather phenomenon named for its oily black liquid form that seems to have a mind of its own, using the carcasses of long dead creatures and broken down structures as its frame. The origins of the blot are unknown, as is much else of its nature. But what is known is that it acts on instinct alone, and like any dangerous storm, it can be tempered. The second threat to coherencia is that of time itself. For every 10 years, the tree is to be given a tribute via five powerful relics to keep its roots alive and healthy. For 15 years without such feeding, the tree will wilt and die, and Alinthi robbed of its splendor. The upkeep of Quarencia has become the, not only the duty, but also a tradition called the Draconic Pilgrimage, where five dragons, the individuals that are the kingdom's most powerful beings, are to bestow their relics, their hearts, to a traveling band of adventurers in order to bring them all to the life tree Quarencia a tradition of which its beginnings have been tasked to the humble province of Satya, where the final bout of a tournament to determine who will be tasked with the quest to feed the life tree takes place. And here is Satya, the art of which uh, is courtesy of Angel Half Heart XI on Twitter. Ooh. Thank you very much Thank for you. Returning for more uh, more background Beautiful. art. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yes. Welcome to Querencia. Sorry, not Querencia. Welcome <laughs> to Satya. Yay. We find ourselves in the mid-morning in a waiting tent in the grassy hills beside the farmland area of the province. The tent is quite spacious and airy, the cloth walls and roof letting in quite a bit of sun, of which the dirt ground is covered with vegetation Flowers and stray grass scatter the floor as wind blows in to meet the seating benches littering about. Uh, various food and drinks enough to feed a small family sit atop a hastily made wooden table at its center, and a few personal belongings share the space. The day is bright and clear, and a few not-so-small crowds are idling about outside, anticipating the four heroes of our story. The first of which... Being one well studied in both nature and dr the draconic pilgrimage itself, who happens to be having a quiet conversation with someone. Red, go ahead and introduce yourself 
what you do and the character you will be playing this campaign. Ah, well, uh, hello everybody. I am Red. I am one half of the YouTube channel Overly Sarcastic Productions, which is the vast majority of what I do for a living. And this in this campaign, I am playing Lyra, the Swift Stride Druid, um, who and there I, she is right now. Ah, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, yes, I imagine I am right now conversing with perhaps my my mentor. You are, yes. yes. You are having a conversation with Shimea, an elderly tiefling who has taken on the pilgrimage herself for many decades. She wears a very dirty robe that seems to have given up being cleaned and wears a mushroom head that uh, that's cover <laughs> that always seems to cover her face, save her smooth blue horns and bright glowing eyes that shine through the veil. She visits you through an image formed from the smoke of incense she has given you that she may coach you while tending to other matters away from the tournament site. Of course. Continuing an ongoing topic, she speaks. And you have to plan for what happens when you run out of arcane stamina. Your physical prowess has always been wanting and your opponents will notice and exploit it. Yes, I understand. Your choice of defensive spells are useful but worthless if the enemy can outlast you. Should your allies have an off day and you aren't able to knock the enemy out in a quick manner, you all may not have a scratch on you, but you may not make any progress. Am I making sense? Yes, I... I'll do my best. Good. I'm going to make you proud. She sighs a little bit and kind of looks to the, si to the side. I know you will. I... Know that I may be a p have been callous, well, more callous than usual these past few days, but only so that the world beyond Satya will also be. Of course. Should you win the tournament and begin the pilgrimage, which is not a guarantee, child, yes. the larger Alinthi will not give you notes on where you can improve. Yes, well, I'll just do my best. Yes. The only feedback you'll be getting will be the missing chunks of flesh about your person and the dents to your sanity from interacting with the locals of the other provinces, especially those drunks from New Basque. Yes, the the talking to people thing. I might leave to the others if I can. Hmm. I see. I mean, I I'm here to do a job, you know. It, it's. So the tree's the only thing that matters. All the rest of this is just distraction. Hmm, somewhat. I used to think the same, but only you can learn the deeper meaning that the people of this land seem to have attached to this ritual. Uh. Whatever the case may be, I know that you will get it done. Yes. Shimea seems to be picking at some things kind of out of view of the smoky vision she's projecting from and like she's about to get back to a task or is losing interest in the conversation and she speaks up again I think that about covers it for the day is there aught else you need of me at the moment no I, I won't keep you from your duties hmm. very well uh, as the incense smoke begins to fade and the image of Shimea starts to turn around it suddenly returns to a healthy form briefly and she hesitantly faces you again regardless of how it may sound and much as I take more delight in tending foot to plants than people you are among the better things I have watered in my life I only ever wish to see you succeed child whatever happens this day that will not change and I only wish to make you proud she nods a little bit and you can see that um, for the limited time that uh, the little chances that you can get you've noticed that uh, she's smiling with her eyes a little oh. happily closed hmm. and the smoke finally fades into the air as the image of Shimea disappears okay let's get back to my job and on the other side of the tent the next member of the party a small reptilian looking creature creature in a fancy coat yes. who may or may not have overheard the conversation. Logan, go ahead and introduce who you are, what you do, and the character you will be playing for us. Woo. Hello, I am Logan. I go by RuneSmith Online, and I am also the creative uh, spearhead of Eldermancy, which is a series of books that I have written three of and then took a break from. Uh, I do YouTube videos uh, I, I used to, and I will be doing them next year. Spoiler alert. But for mm -hmm. now, I'm just going to enjoy playing a game. 
Mm -hmm. uh, I am playing Word, who is a small kobold rogue with very big aspirations, much, much bigger than he is. And he will be uh, laying on a bed of straw. Uh, can he be tended to by a couple of his kobold lackeys? Yes, he can, as a couple of the kobold lackeys are just kind of massaging your feet and just like you've got one kind of massaging your back on the shoulders a little bit and just like, all right, boss, you got this one, man. I, I know you got this one. Those, those other ones, I've seen them and they ain't nothing compared to you. They ain't nothing. But it seems like one of my lackeys is a little lacking in confidence. How you doing, Lyra? As long as nothing is currently on fire, I think we're doing all right, all things considered. As long as you have me on your team, I don't think we can lose very easily. However, I am hungry. Where right. are my calories, my friends? And he looks back to his two kobolds. Uh, they, they kind of point over at the table where there's a bunch of food. Uh, kind of strewn about some various usual stuff not the most fancy but like things you could get on a budget essentially someone ordered like mass catering essentially okay uh, I'll just point toward whatever meat is on the table well yeah yeah you got it boss and you see one of them <laughs> hops up to grab like a drumstick and brings awesome. it back to you I, I uh, take like a large portion of it and then we'll give you know some to the two of them and shoot them out of the tent <laughs> they Life they uh, kind of look uh, glad at each other, just like oh yeah, nice, 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 nice. They high five and they run back out of the tent. I'm just chilling, just chilling. <laughs> and a bit after that conversation ends, another one begins right outside the tent. Muffled voices can be heard, as well as some faint cheering at another tournament finalist entering the tent. Fell the leb, introduce who you are, what you do, and the character that you will be playing. Hi everybody, I go by Fel the Leb. Um, I make content for Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition on YouTube. I also have a Twitter. Uh, all my stuff is under Fel the Leb. Um, and I am playing Buck Bakara, the Bugbear Barbarian. Yes. Um, he is. And I'm walking into the tent, is that right? Or I'm having a conversation outside? You are outside. walking into the tent, uh, but you are not entering alone as there is. Whoop. A drow that enters with you. Whoa. Hmm. And uh, the drow has been trailing you kind of close behind, waving and putting on a face to the crowd, which leaves the instant the cover falls behind them. It's Torellin, the bookie that has been keeping a tight leash on your debts. Mm -hmm. His face is very well groomed and his shoulder length hair is, is incredibly silky. Not a thread on his outfit is out of place aside from a few spots of mud on his boots from walking through the farmland. And darting his head from outside immediately towards you, Buck, his eyes pierce into your being. I know you've made it this far, but you cannot expect me to accept an IOU as collateral. D, listen, listen. If we're gonna do this, we don't we don't have to do this here. We're about to get to the final round. I gotta I'm working with a good group this time. I, I put it all on us to win this thing, and I think I'm gonna break even. I've always been good for it. You know that about me, right? Yes, I know. A win's a win, but what if you don't? You can't very well ask for a fifth chance. I and expect to get away with it. I think it's more of like a fourth chance if you consider that thing back, you know, a couple months ago. But I get what you're saying. I get what you're we saying. We don't talk about that. Yet, yeah, look, look, look. I, I have got luck on my side since since the beginning. But more than luck is going to be needed to win the final round. I understand. That's why I've got, and I like gesture uh, <laughs> kind of uh, to the other two that are in the tent with me. And then I, can my hand kind of drops as if these two aren't the aren't the the best <laughs> teammates to have. I've got you know I've got things figured out, so you don't have to worry too much about it. It's all gonna work out. Don't get try not to get too stressed. You're gonna get those that nice pretty hair of yours all mussed up, and I, nobody wants to see that. And you see that he crosses his arms, looking at Word, <laughs> uh, and his face just kind of scrunches. Do you really think it's a good idea to be working with the likes of him? I like lean down closer to Terrell and look, absolutely not. But for all of his faults, he's adept at the things that he's adept at. And I think it will come in handy when it comes to completing this tournament. And then after that, we'll settle up you and I, and we don't have, we can go our separate ways. We don't have to worry too much about this. That's what I want out of this. Uh, he just kind of pinches the, the bridge of his nose. 
You better be right about this, because if you fail, I fail. And I can't look out for you when you bumble about at my expense. Alright, I, I, I got you. Now, I, let, me, let me try and focus up, alright? We, we, we got a big day ahead of us. Fine. I do hope you're right, or at least have a lot of luck. And he turns <laughs> and walks out of the tent. And as the, that commotion starts to end, uh, it's enough to get the attention of the final, final member of our party. <laughs> Poi, introduce Yay! yourself, what you do, and who you will be playing. Hello, I am Playboy. I am a Tumboy VTuber and professional anime woman. Uh, I <laughs> am going to be playing Fritz, a Aracocra Ranger, and I'm excited to be here. Woo. Hello. <coughs> yes, and you were sitting... Actually, where were you in the room? I'll let you decide. Uh, <clears throat> am I allowed to enter late? <laughs> um, you know what? Yes, Kind of like dashing can. through. Okay. Uh, I'll dash through and be like, I'm so sorry. I had some last minute letter deliveries. How is everyone? Hello, Fritz. Hello, my favorite people. Ah! <laughs> We're doing fantastic. <sighs> With a little bit of slander in the tent, but that's how it goes. <laughs> Lyra. Hello. Buck. Um, Hello, Fritz. Wade. Who's the Did tiny you forget girl? my name? Yes. <laughs> I put this whole team together and you forgot who I am already. He's the one with the, um... The incident last month, you remember? How does everybody know about that? Oh, the I incident! I put out the fire word, that's how I remember. <laughs> oh, the you different the incident last month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, that's all right. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. I knew you'd be there. Mm -hmm. So we got this covered, right? Yes. What's, uh, what's our game plan? Go in there, punch him really hard, get out, get on our quest? Something like that. <laughs> After a few minutes of small talk, you hear a minor commotion outside. The words, sir, you can't be here. A little argument, a thump, and some snoring. And then a burly dwarf man with a braided orange beard and a privateer wear with a tricorn hat rushes into the tent. So many Oop. people today. And Lyra, you would recognize, uh, or not Lyra, Fritz. <laughs> Sorry, Wait, you is it, would recognize him. Is it's, it Lyra or Lyra? It's Lyra. Lyra. Okay. So sorry. Lyra is the kobold. Yes. Lyra. Lyra is the kobold. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, he rushes into the tent, checks his corners, being sure that he's in the clear, and jumps with joy at the sight of Fritz. It's Dozen, <laughs> captain of the Nado Hogir, the most notable ship in Satya's docks. Dozen, what are you doing here? Oi, there you are, girl. I've been trying to reach you all week, but these old pencil pushers ain't letting anybody near the precious pilgrims ever since it started. Uh, but don't worry about them. I've just been uh, taking a little... I uh, put them in a little charming nap till I can get to you what I've been trying to get to you. You can see he's very winded. Efficient. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? I know you're usually incredibly busy. Oi, I but... Uh, uh, firstly... Oh, whew. I ain't alone. Uh, uh, I ain't alone. A little friend of yours was just dying and pleading to see you. Oh, but they'll never admit it, no, sir. I seen the tears in them eyes and thought, hey, 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 hey. ah! And he, he kind of clutches at his hat a bit and winces uh, in brief pain before returning to the bright eyes and a wide smile. All right, all right. You can see her, you bloody impatient furball. And he lifts his hat to show you another friend that you've noticed. <gasps> Sifa! I. <laughs> all right, all right. He, How did you he... sneak him in? <laughs> uh, we things been crying and waiting for you Aww. by the docks day and night. We we be sure to leave it a fish and uh, or two every now and then to be sure it's fed, Aww. and it sure do like to eat when nobody's watching. Decide mm. it's high time we both paid you a visit before you win this thing. Oh, I'm so touched. Thank you. Can I turn to Seifer and be like, you better behave. I'm going to be gone for a while. <laughs> you do. And <laughs> the cat just has the, like, st uh, st staring into your eyes, like, completely, like, blank. No, Nothing between those <laughs> eyeballs. And it just gives a little meow. Aww. Can I give, um... Oh, I f I'm so sorry. I forgot the name already. <laughs> can uh, I give my, my friend... D can I give Dozen a hug? Yes, you you kneel down and give him a big hug. 
Oh, and one more thing. Because me and the crew knew that you would win. But we wanted to give you a good luck charm for when you start your journey. Uh, I don't know how much time you'll have once the tourney is done. Uh, so just in case I don't get to see you off to the mainland here, is something we all chipped in for. And Dozen gently but excitingly reaches for one of your, your hands and places in it a small silver compass with very ornate trimming and a needle that seems to be decorated to be, look like the uh, the bird's eye view of a ship with its bow pointed north. Hmm. Mm, this is so incredibly sweet. Thank you so much. Uh, I know you've been delivering to the mainland since you've been little, so it ain't like you gotta get lost, but you never know what might happen that'll turn you around, so... Uh, just in case, you can always find your way back to us, aye? Yes, of course. I'll make sure to send letters when I get the chance. Aye, the crew will love that. And you hear a few groggy moans from outside, the same ones that was demanding Dozen's compliance earlier. Oh, looks like my time's up. Oh. Uh, go on out there and kick some ass, kid. I'll see you soon. Quick, go, 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 go. And he runs out, and the stray gives like a punctual meow before it's quickly muffled by the tricorn that covers it again. And Captain. Dozen scurries out of the tent. What a character. Can I, can I take the uh, compass and I kind of just like stuff it into um, my like little satchel bag and like I yes. pack it safe. I'm you like, may yeah. add Dozen's compass to your inventory. No. Okay. <laughs> so should we all have some sort of team meeting? I don't mean to interrupt everyone's sort of interpersonal communications with all their friends and whatnot, but hmm. I feel like we've gotten by on these last couple of rounds out of... Um, just kind of flying by the seat of our pants, and I think we should have a strategy. I mean, this is the last round. Am, am I right? Yes. Do we know who we're up against? Uh, you do not, as you've mostly not been having the chance to talk with or hang out with the other contestants. You've seen them at a glance every now and then as you were shuffling tents. How the tournament works is every day there is one fight. Um, per group, rather. There are multiple fights throughout the day to account for each and every single group, but you do one a day. And it's kind of been seven, like, in total, so this is, like, the end of the week, and this is your final one. But okay. uh, you've mostly just seen them, like, at glances, but you don't know who you're about to face. It is I difficult to know plan. the objective, the, the main objective, as every single one has been something different. A couple okay. of them are just the usual knock out your opponent, but some of them have other objectives in them as well. Like capture and the usually you know from past, uh, the history of past um, pilgrimages that often the last one is a surprise. Okay. I feel like in this context, flying by the seat of our pants is going to get us there just like how it's going to get us to the tree. It is uh, difficult to plan without knowing what we need to plan for. Just plan for your own skill sets. We should be fine. <sighs> Fair enough. Do you not think you're up to it? Oh, I... Did you want some... I think there's some chicken on the table. No, no, I'm, I'm not hungry. I, I just... Good. I, go I, I just want to make sure that we're able to get this done correctly. I just kind of have a lot riding on this, and so I would prefer not to uh, mess this well, up. Well, we all do. As if we fail to reinvigorate the tree, as we all know, the entire land will suffer and perish. And strangely, most people don't seem to find this particularly existentially disturbing. Those who give credence to their own failure often end up meeting it by their own hands. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the tree aspect is also the ma my main concern <laughs> as well. Nothing else. Not like any sort of bets I have riding on this or anything. Let's just... Make sure we're out there doing our best. With that said, I'm gonna get a couple stretches in. And I'll start you can doing trust us. Why? Stretches. <laughs> One minor thing: uh, if you fail this, um, it will simply mean that somebody else will be tasked with going uh, to invigorate the tree. I don't I. trust e. those people. <laughs> no, you don't that, trust them. No, that's a horrible fate for us. Uh, well, if all is said and done, then. About an hour passes, unless anybody has anything else they would like to do or say. Uh, you know what? I'd like to go uh, catch up with a few of my kobold friends and just give them like a little send off. Yes. Mm. Yeah, you can see that a few of them are like kind of when you peek outside the tent, you can see a few of them are being held back by security because <laughs> they're like all <laughs> trying to peek inside to see what's going on. They can't see, of course, but you can okay. see you've got a lot. You've got a fan base. Yeah, I'll, uh -oh. I'll, I'll scurry over there. 
And Why you are you see holding their, my friends their cheering back? starts to get a little bit more rowdy oh. as the, the guard is trying to keep them back. And they're like, oh, it's the boss. It's the boss. Hey, boss. Stand back. Well, I'm the security guard now. They all and I step immediately up the... stand at attention <laughs> and behave. My friends, will you be able to sustain yourselves without your great overlord? You can see a few of them have a little bit of tears in their eyes. Well, try, boss. Stick to the plan. Remember, pumpkins are bigger. Pumpkins are first. bigger. Pumpkins are bigger. <laughs> they all chat and chant. And <laughs> Start chanting. Pumpkins are bigger. <laughs> but don't forget chicken. You need the meat. Don't forget chicken. Then don't take all the chickens or they'll all die. Uh, they all kind of like m mumble with each other. Take care of yourselves. You too, boss. Back. You'll win this thing. We know it. I know I will. He's surprisingly yeah, organized. The tent. They all disperse into the stands where they will <laughs> watch and start intensely. stealing people's food. <laughs> <laughs> all right, wonderful. Mm -hmm. You know what? Oh, I'm going to be generous. I'm going to give you an inspiration for that. That's oh, a okay. <laughs> moment. Aww. All right. Uh, about an hour passes before a loud horn sound. Uh, kind of echoes throughout the hills and the guard from the outside of the tent peeks in. It's time. Are you all ready? Yes. I was Ooh, born this ready. Is exhilarating. And then I forgot to be ready, but now I'm ready again. <laughs> yeah, we're ready. Yes. Okay. You walk outside of the tent. And you can find your tokens at the bottom down there. Uh, move mm -hmm. it around, make sure that it's all working and good and good working order and such. All right. Is this awesome. a Fall Guys map? Say again? This is a Fall Guys map? <laughs> this is a Fall Guys <laughs> God damn it. Ninja Warrior. Oh my Dude. gosh. Okay, so you walk out of the tent to the lush green hills of Satchian farmland. And a section of the grass has been cleared for the various matches between parties. The tourney officials lend you, uh, lead you to a corner of the arena where there is a magical barrier wall that lines the entire thing, protecting the audience from any stray projectiles. Uh, hmm. They create a small opening kind of down here uh, for you to walk through and give you a little head bow cueing you in. Well, I'm going to go in. Yeah, I'll follow behind. All right. As, so as you guys oh, exit yes. your tent and walk inwards, the crowd erupts in a joyous applause and cheer. I bow, but most of them can't see me because I'm so small. <laughs> I am stone-facedly trying not to look at anybody. <laughs> so just like, point on the horizon, that's where I'm focusing on. Can I can I throw a wing over the top of uh, Lyra? And oh, like, I got this. <laughs> Thank you. This is a lot more people than I'm used to dealing with. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Just picture them all naked. I don't think I'm going to do that. <laughs> all right. Okay. And on the opposite end, the opposite corner, the other final qualifying party consisting of a satyr in full regal but old looking plate, a white dragonborn with nary any clothing aside from some animal hides strewn about, a goblin with some fancy robes and a large book, and a fairy with some light armor and twin swords made from small materials. Let me show them off. Uh, here is some Wait, quick is... portraits for your convenience. How big is the fairy? Uh, the fairy yeah, is oh. about your size, funnily enough. Oops. Okay. Wait, so like a couple fairies feet. count as fey, right? Uh, I think so, yes. Or Pretty sure. It's Sorry, uh, weird. the chat's like not able to see this thing, but I'll 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 show the uh the full portraits of each of them uh some other time. It's just roll twenty is being a little bit weird with the overlay. Mm -hmm. What's the shark looking guy? Is I'm he a dragonborn? Uh yes. The horned okay. guy is a dragonborn, the green guy is a goblin, <laughs> and the armored lady on the very left is a satyr. Okay, Dibs I didn't imagine lady. that guy naked. He's just doing that on his own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's him. Okay. That's just who he is. Cool. A word? Hmm? Yeah. Did you call dibs oh, on somebody? Oh, do you mean like a word? Were you talking to me? <laughs> yeah, you, you said you called dibs on somebody, right? Oh, yeah, the one in the armor. They look uh, slow and clunky. You don't want the dragonborn? N no, I feel like he would... No. No, thank you. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> we aren't aware of the parameters yet. Perhaps we should <laughs> wait before calling dibs. I don't like mm. being at waist level. <laughs> so... 
As uh, the two parties take their place, the center of the, the arena starts to darken as uh, under the shadow of something massive in the sky. Hmm. A huge red dragon with curled horns and scars all across its face lands perched on the tallest central stone platform and the crowd erupts in a cheer. Let me show you guys an up close of this. I did a lot of portraits, don't worry. You'll, you'll be able to see them again <laughs> soon. I, mean, I know it's overload right now. <laughs> I'm gonna save all of these. I love this art. It's so cool. It's a dragon and he, after some showboating, puffing smoke into the sky, showing its wings at their full size. The dragon gleams with a bright light and transforms down into a much smaller, more humanoid size. Once I... <laughs> little old man. It is his true form, Elias Verdugo, the dragon and protector of Satya. Hmm. I'm gonna bow. <laughs> A lot of other people, uh, a couple of others on the other side bow as well, most notably the other satyr. Uh, a mm -hmm. few people bow and cheer and whoop and clap as he transforms back into his more humanoid form. And he takes in the roars of the crowd and seems to fiddle with his sleeves quite a bit, adjusting it nearly nonstop while he's waving until uh, he lifts one arm to calm down the crowd. He whisks his fingers a bit, casting a familiar spell, Thaumaturgy, amplifying his voice to speak to the audience and participants as it echoes through the hills. Good morning, Satya. So, they tell me this is to be the final bout to determine who will be tasked with taking on the Draconic Pilgrimage. Well, I'm very excited. As you can see, I've even decided to get out of my pajamas this time. <laughs> and he continues to pull and scratch at his sleeves. And although I very much wish to be out of this garb as soon as possible, I do also very much enjoy seeing the next generation of heroes that will bring prosperity to not only Satya, but all of Alinthi. For whoever wins this tournament this day, what we do is to celebrate and honor what comes before, as well as safeguard it that we may pass it along in good health to those who may come after. Now. Let's see who will be taking my heart to Quarencia, shall we? The challenge for this final match will be... Elias gives a look at one of the mages outside of the arena who conjures two items on either corner. Do -do 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 -do. Oh uh, boop, one Spinchable. and two. And whoop. Mm. And you guys see that uh, there are two kind of poles standing atop a stand. Capture the flag! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Oh boy. I think I it's mean, fitting that it. if the adventurers are to gather and return the dragon hearts to Quarencia, why not test their abilities on a smaller scale? The first team to capture and return the enemy's flag to their own base will win. You must have your own flag at the base as well in order to score. Quarantia will need all the dragon hearts in order to flourish, and you cannot simply replace them. Adventurers, are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> when you can fly, we have an advantage. <laughs> shh, shush. Hush. Say they have a fairy. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. The fairy can also fly. Oh, shit. I will not. I am not letting that thing hit the skies. I'm letting that thing hit my fist. And. Seeing, getting confirmation from the other team as well. Elias looks back and forth, does a knowing nod. Then let us begin! And he leaps into the sky, into his dragon form once more with a mighty flap of his wings. Horns sound, and everyone needs to roll for initiative. Yeah! Uh, make sure to select your token before you do so. Okay. Oh no, we're going live. <laughs> All right, you guys rolled pretty high. So before we begin, um, mm -hmm. a couple of things, uh, rules which you would know. One, if mm. once someone is knocked out, if you attack them while they are unconscious, i.e. at zero hit points, whether on purpose or accident, you will be considered out of the encounter for the rest of the bout. Two, Whoa. 
Same thing if you leave the arena's boundaries. This includes the magical walls on the outside as well as the ceiling, which is 20 feet up, or 60 feet up, rather. 60 mm -hmm. feet up. That's for you, Fritz. Okay, thank you, because okay. I didn't know if we had a ceiling or not. Yes, we do have a magical ceiling that is 60 feet up. You, Your character can see it. Um, but, uh, and finally, not a rule, yeah. but more so just information. Each of these platforms is 10 feet up. So the lowest one right here, that's uh, 10 feet. This one right here is 20 feet. Um, and uh, each platform is basically 10 feet higher than the previous one. Uh, mm. And the water is deep enough to dive into and swim, but also shallow enough to wade through, though you will do so at half speed since it will be considered difficult terrain. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, poor word. All right. What, First what? up, Leira. What do you do? Oh no! <laughs> I've never played him. a full scale spellcaster before. I was hoping I'd have a little more time. Um, you got this. You got this. Okay. So high. Uh, <laughs> yes, well, is the is the dragon still in the middle of the thing? Is he oh, still whoop, there? No, he flew. Oh, oh yeah. He's... <laughs> Sorry. Whoop. I'll put him over here because I do still need that token. My apologies. I'm going to walk my way up over here. I don't need to, but I would prefer to. And I'm going to cast. Entangle, centered ooh, ooh. on the blue flag. Oh, wow, right on the flag, huh? Let me just boop. Okay, and uh, exactly may I see a description of what be. Entangle does? So that I'm Certainly. Uh, do I, ah yes, display. Yes. There we go. <laughs> 20 foot square, starting from the point. Creature within the area <laughs> must exceed strength save or be restrained and entangled. Okay, all right. And the DC is 12. Okay, you got half of them. As the, the knighted, um, kind of armored satyr seems to pull apart at the vines and kind of cuts them with her sword. And the fairy just kind of like is too small to be grasped. But the dragonborn and the goblin are pulled down. They are restrained. Perfect. All right, well, I'll hold concentration on that. That was my, my movement and my action. And... Uh... Yeah, I think that basically does it. All right. For now. Awesome, yeah. possum. All right, <laughs> wonderful. Fritz. All right. Go That's get right. him, everybody. Hello. Um, Whoops. <laughs> um. So I'll just I'll just go like ten feet in the air, and I'm going to cast hail of thorns and fire at the fairy. All right. Ooh. Let's see it. I roll that. Sorry about that. Ooh, and then yep, that's a hit. It, that's a hit. All right, Ooh. and. Okay, all right. And so Hail of Thorns is going to... A Hail of Thorns burst out from the fairy and into the other two. They're going to have to roll their dexterity saving throws. And they both fail. Uh, they both wow. just get a little needle prick on them. The skies are mine. <laughs> oh, wait, it hits all three because they're all within five feet. Never mind. Yeah. Wait, is what? it? Oh, wow. <laughs> Hold no, on. What five is feet Hail of Thorns? Is it within is five it? feet or ten feet? Uh, five feet. Oh. Five feet. Okay, never mind. The goblin does not get right. hit by it. Goblin's fine. Death by a thousand cuts, it seems it's going to be. Uh, <laughs> all right. Damage. Anything else you wish to do? You still have movement that you can move horizontally. Um, I'm going to move up um, next to Lyra. All right. You are ten nice feet shot. above Lyra. Next word. Your turn. Nothing quite like teamwork. And I pull out my uh, short bow, and I'm going to also target the fairy. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> one at a time. Oh, Ooh. Uh, oh no. Kobe. That's a net one. That is our first Ooh. net one of the game. Woo, yay. <laughs> All right. And nothing quite like a failure. You That's fire it, work. and you can see that one of the wizards, uh, like one of the mages right outside who would have opened the door for them, is like staring in and enjoying themselves. And your short bow... <laughs> shot your bolt just like boom, right in front of them if it weren't for the magical barrier it would have hit them but it makes them flinch and fall on their ass and they just kind of lift their arms like a what the heck motion escape maneuvers <laughs> and i'll i'll uh, move over here all right wait i i can't, I can't move me uh oh or wait that's right you? no i'm i'm in the uh, i'm in the ruler. Yeah, yeah 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 Womp. Uh, I will say that the falling does not eat into your movement speed because it's falling speed. Like it's like free movement. Oh. Okay, I have a strength of eight. <laughs> you're gonna, so, you're you gonna know, fall in the yeah, water from this. I'll land right there. That's fine. <laughs> and it is well, gonna take close. ten, ten feet this to out. climb up on the oh. log, uh, as it is I'm difficult okay with terrain. 
Don't we can recover. <laughs> All right. All right. Next is the blue team. Uh, these two, the um, the armored woman is going to run. Let's see. She's going to dash. And she is just going to oh, run boy. and jump like onto the log. The log like s heavily lists into the water, barely holding her weight. And she is running with the grace of a gazelle as she leaps on top and kind of like combat rolls onto the stone platform on the other side and points her sword at you. I thought that one would be slow. <laughs> and Don't look at me, Buck. <laughs> and the fairy is also going to take flight. She's going to fly up about to your level, Fritz. And she's oh. going to fly on over and take evasive maneuvers this way. And you can see that she pulls out her dual swords. They look like little pointy sticks. And you can see that she dips them into a secondary pair of like sheaths and they start to glow with like a bright pink hue. Hmm. And these two are not gonna do a goddamn thing. Actually, the goblin is gonna do something. Wait, if the water's waist height, do I sink down? <laughs> you're and have, can you're I use... like a crocodile. You know how crocodiles are like, <laughs> okay, like their then heads can I just use poking my... out? At your standing I... height, you're like, yeah. Retroactively use my cunning action to hide. Okay. Because oh. <laughs> I forgot All to right. do that. Oh, okay. I did it on you're purpose. <laughs> Wonderful. She tries to point the sword and is like, wait, where'd he go? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Crocodile. Okay, well, um... Just like the one piece ah, that's character. 90 feet. Okay, that's good. The goblin is going to kind of pull upon his book. He lifts his hand and the flaps start to like billow in the wind. Oh, and uh, he lifts kind of a, a little stone kind of platform from the ground, from the grass, and chucks it. He's going to cast Catapult. And it oh. flies phew, at Fritz directly. Oh. Make a dexterity saving throw, Fritz. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Whoa. All nat right. 20! <laughs> Woo! So, because you're nat 20, I'm going to say it's reduced twice. So you take you take one damage as it just kind of skids <laughs> your, your hairs a little bit. As you duck underneath, you see this stone disc flying towards you. As it crashes into the magic wall behind you, turns into pebbles. Woof. Let's go! <laughs> and these two are going to roll, and they are... The goblin, they are both trapped. You can see the dragonborn is taking uh, his axe and just chopping at the the thorns because there's nothing nothing he can do with these vines holding him down. He can make a, I, I mean, I don't want to say, but he can make, he uses action to make a strength check to try and break out again. He, all right, he's going to do that. <laughs> well, he that's a crit failure. All right, cool. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh. He is chopping is away, caught. but it's he's not making leeway. And he's They'll just like, it out. go away, stupid plants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to guess barbarian. <laughs> All right. Back up to the top of the uh, turn nope. order. Buck. Nope. Oh, at the bottom of the turn order. Buck. <laughs> bottom of the wow, turn you're so order. slow. Yeah. But from, but from so a slow. certain point of view. <laughs> All right. Name of the game is Capture the Flag. I'm going to go do that. Um, and then I'm going to... So I can jump down here without any... Movement penalty? Is yes. Right? So long as you jump down on the first platform. On the second platform, oh, oh. you will take fall damage. But you can do it. I don't want to take unnecessary damage. Uh, I will do 30 feet of movement to get here, and then I'm going to dash uh -huh. to get... Can I get up on this? Uh, it will take 10 feet, 10 feet. of climbing. Okay. So that, uh, is, that will just take off of... I'm just... Speed. That's fine. Now, I'm going to run. While yeah. you're there, you will have partial cover. So that will be disadvantage on any attacks coming towards you. Cool, 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 cool. I am going to stay there and then I will. I don't want to rage just yet because I don't want to lose it if I don't attack or don't take damage. So I will end my turn there. All right, Brad. All right. Back to the top of the turn order, actually. Layra. Yes. Well, uh, I want to keep concentration on that spell, so I'm not mm -hmm. going to cast any other concentration spells, but uh, I don't think that Thorn Whip is concentration. In fact, it isn't. Uh, oh, but it's only range 30 feet. That's not as good. 
Hmm. Ah. Yeah, that's a little far. A little far <laughs> for that one. Uh, I don't want to leave the flag too undefended, and I'm by far the least mobile of us, so I think I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to move just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Five, drop down ten, and I believe that does, in fact, put me within 60 feet of the lady warrior mm-hmm. person on the block. Yep. Great. Uh, then I am going to cast Ice Knife. Ice Knife. Let me just display that and Ooh, cast. wonderful. Mm. Okay. All Dexterity right. save. This is not a very dexterous lady. Yeah. And she and is going to take the full damage there as you throw oh, the oh. Ice Knife, it kind of lands in one of her pauldrons and then just the, the slight shattering sound as the ice just kind of covers her armor with a bunch of frost and she clutches at her shoulder a little bit. All right. Well, that looks like seven piercing and 12 cold. That's a decent amount of damage. That's not bad. Let's go. All right. Well, that was some movement. That was a action. Uh, And I think just because it looks like we might be getting into close combat soon uh, for my bonus action, I am going to shift into my slightly more cat-like appearance, which yeah. will give me five temp HP uh, and also make me a little bit faster. Wonderful. So, yes. Awesome. So I just look a little bit sharper and, you know, <laughs> a little more fang and claw-y, but mm-hmm. overall, honestly, the attitude is pretty much the same. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Fritz, your turn. Hi. I'm allowed to talk to other players mid's combat, right? Yeah, you can. Talk cool. into free I action. Wanna... I want to shout out word need a left. <laughs> word? Word. He's too uh, stealthy. I'm, he can't I'm hear you. I'm sneaking under the water. You, like, because I'm following you up, you see a stick slowly rising out of the water <laughs> as I'm prepping my bow to shoot the satyr. Oh. And that's boy. all you see. Uh, do I, I have your permission right. to pick you up? Well, not when I'm hidden. You wouldn't oh, reveal true. my position. <laughs> this is why I asked. This is why I asked. Okay. Oh, um, okay. All right, then. We need like a, a series of signals for this, like a little yes. thumbs up or a thumbs I can't down. signal when I'm I hiding. Said we should play. <laughs> <laughs> they jumped into the water. Uh, all right, Improvisation then. is its own form um, of plan. <laughs> worth a shot. That goes quite far. Okay. Um, I guess. Oh. Uh, mm, hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this lady and I'm going to throw my javelin at them. Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> this poor fighter. <laughs> They're the closest. She signed up to fight this little crocodile man. She's just getting bombarded. <laughs> Listen, I protect word. Ooh, you Ooh. go you throw it and she parries it with her sword oh, right so out of the sky. Oh, so cool. Lucky. All right then. Um. Yeah. All right then. I'm going to uh, move over. Uh, to Buck as kind of like a backup. Mm-hmm. Kind of be like behind mm-hmm. them over here. Okay. And that's my turn ended. All right. Word. You An have arrow yourself flies. under the water. You can Shh. possibly Im- oh, uh, assume that no one has... N- n- they know where you last were, but oh my goodness. they possibly might not know where you will be. Okay, whether or not I got advantage, I would still 11. <laughs> 11. So I launch an arrow who at you. Who are you firing at? The the satyr. <laughs> the satyr. You fire it Boy. out and pew pew. And let's see mm. if they will notice your position. Uh, all except for the fairy know where you are now. Then I will hide again <laughs> and I will position myself right, right here. Give me a stealth check. Oh, come on. Okay, yeah, one second. Whether or not I succeed, uh, ba, ba, ba. at least I can hide from combat if I can't be a part. Oh my okay. goodness. I'm rolling to see who can see you. And, all right, okay, interesting. Okay. I'm a professional mm-hmm. failure. Mm-hmm. Is that your turn then? Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> yes, it is. Next is the blue team and the satyr. Uh, Phelan, please pick me up. <laughs> the satyr is going to heckin' dash again. But before she does, you can see that she kind of gets down into like a, a 
sprint ready position she seems to whisper mm -hmm. something to herself and you see like a ray of light just glisten from her a little bit she just cast healing word mm. Mm. and she's gonna dash and leap like step for step like she's taking steps on the wooden logs mm -hmm. where you have an attack of opportunity as she's leaping yeah i over. slash at her ankle as she goes above slashing me slashing her ankle oh, give me attack with oh that's nice. a that's one yeah. yeah. all right and how do you do crits will go off since you're doing it at advantage go I, I have advantage glorious you yes you have advantage on her oh, because you stealth from me. her you hit from her vision Oh my goodness! I'm so happy right now. Yes. All right, she's gonna die. All right, that's a um, decent amount of damage. And then, uh, so that is, I don't know. Uh, that is, Wait, how much damage? That is that is without the, um, without the sneak attack. Right. Um, that add so an additional four damage. Oh, it puts the sneak attack on the right. You see, five plus two. Oh, oh, because I crit. Yeah, because you crit. Huh. Um, oh, okay. I'll just add that Sorry. one. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 damage. Wow. Ba, ba, ba. You, can, you have like pinged off like a massive chunk off her armor and she almost Ooh. stumbles. But she is pretty roughed up. She They don't call me ankle biter for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> like a little chihuahua? Oh no. Shut up. So, I'm going to put that little red mark. That little <laughs> red mark means that they are low on health, like below 25%. Mm. Noise. But she continues her dash and leaps forward and kind of stops right in front of you, Lyra. And oh, you can perfect. see she's kind of got a friendly smile and kind of like a just tilts her head a little bit. Morning. Morning. That would um, be her turn. If she's if she's ending her turn within five feet of me, I actually have a thing I can do. Oh, <laughs> um, as a reaction? As a reaction, yes, I can move uh, <laughs> 10 feet if an enemy ends their turn within five feet of me. Okay. So oh. I'm just going to hop uh, back up. So I'm between her and the flag, <laughs> but I'm also, I have the high you ground. The high ground. On, nope. <laughs> yep, just All boing. Right. Wonderful. It's like a cat backflip. And uh, she just uh, chuckles to herself and shakes her head. Was it something I said? Nothing personal, I assure you. And she just, uh, just kind of like does a, a fake sweat wipe. Oh, I should hope not. The fairy is going to fly further forward over here. Oh, boy. And she is going to take one of her swords, and she is going to try and throw it at you, Phelan. Uh, or Fritz, rather. I, see I can't be mad. Name. I started this. <laughs> she clutches it, and she just phew, tries to throw it at you. It is covered in a pink, misty thing. And... Yep, it's going to hit you. It kind of nicks you in some of the feathers a little bit. And you are going to take six damage, six piercing damage. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Ooh. There you go. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Ooh. So Ooh. It, uh, it hits you, and you immediately start to glow a bright pink. You have just been fairy fired. Oh, oh no. this little... F mm. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to give you a pink outline there. So attacks against you will have advantage. Ah. Oh, and the sword like, like magically comes back to her like a like a boomerang and she catches it in the air. And she just kind of winks with a very sassy smile, just like a big shit-eating grin. Oh, the on. dragonborn. Oh, it's on. <laughs> mm -hmm. The dragonborn is going to chop at the vines again. And he does, finally. He chops at it. Yay. And he's going to get out. And uh, he just looks at the goblin and he's like, you stay here. And then the goblin just gives him a little salute. He's going to dash himself real far like. Oh, boy. And he's running on the outside, around the outside. He leaps down, drops from the 20 foot uh, kind of platform and kind of rolls he looks at he, he gets a little grunt <clears throat> you can tell that he got hurt a little bit by Whoa. it but he's a running he's going for that flag uh and the goblin is content with staying here he is going to cast he's going to cast shape water and he's going to guess where word is oh no <laughs> okay he's going to shape water and he's going to freeze this spot. Oh. As that oh my goodness. chunk of water has been completely frozen to ice. And then he just kind of snaps his fingers like, shit. 
And I think that's all of them. Okay. Come out of the water like Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Buck, your turn. Um, Fritz, can you help protect the flag? Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's get that fairy. Get me. All right. I'm going to go here. 30 feet. Uh, why not? If I get, can I get up here with, is that with 10 feet to, 10 to climb feet, up yep. here? To climb up. So that would be 30 feet, so I'll be, I'll get up here. Uh, I think I'm going to reach down to my belt and grab a card from it, and I'm going to <laughs> rage. Oh! So let me roll on my wild surge table. Oh! That's so you cool. You draw a card, and that card Eight. is... Uh, <laughs> it is. I'll I'll share the. Uh, yes. Hold on, let me. I have Lord. to like grab this from the. Oh, I love this concept. The suspense so much. is killing me. <laughs> um, it is I a like lightning. That, I like that you flavor it like you're drawing cards. That's wonderful. <laughs> All the cards uh, are blank. They just each have like an effect that's associated with them. So, oh my goodness. Uh, a bolt of light shoots from my chest. Another creature of my choice that I can see within 30 feet must make a Constitution <laughs> saving throw. Uh, it's my con modifier, so it's a uh, DC of 12, which isn't that 12. good. Okay. But it's a DC of 12, um, or it's 1d6 radiant and be blinded if they fail. Okay. And then until my rage ends, I can use that effect again on each of my turns as a bonus action. That's really good, actually. So he has <laughs> to make a... disco ball. So he has to make a DC <laughs> 12. Okay, he has made the save. He doesn't take half damage, right? Doesn't he doesn't. I think stay. it's. I don't think he takes anything. Okay. All right. Uh, if he if he saves it, so he yep. shouldn't. So I uh, pull the card out. Um, um, the card disappears and goes back into the uh, the cold card holster, um, and I shoot a, a bolt of light from my chest at yep. him. And you can see the crowd uh, is all like, "Ooh!" and they all <laughs> clap a little bit. Oh God! I forgot about the crowd. Uh, so I will, <laughs> which is good because it means I've attacked him. So my rage won't, won't end <laughs> prematurely. Uh, so yes, uh, that will be my turn. That was my bonus action, so I'll be my turn. And you can see the goblin is like, oh, you're a sparky one. Leira, back to you. Yes. Um, I think now that Buck is over there, I, well, keeping the goblin restrained is actually probably going to be really good for him next round, so I'll hold concentration on that. Uh, instead, oh, I feel a little bad about this. She's so polite. Um, but I think I, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to fire another ice knife down at uh, this, the closest enemy combatant from the blue team. <laughs> just with a little, like, a little respectful nod. Uh, and it's just going to be the regular first level one. So I'm not trying to upcast or anything. All right. Um, Show me the ice knife. Very nice. How are we looking? Nice. Oh, we're looking pretty good. Ooh. Okay, uh, she is going to make the save, so she'll take half. But... You can see that she stumbles a little bit and she just like kind of gripping kind of her, her waist a little bit and you can she see that she's panting uh, and you can see her mouth the words, I'm getting too old for this. Mm. Okay, let's see. Well, that was my action. Uh, I don't think I need to take any movement. Uh... Okay, yeah, instead I'm going to use my bonus action. Let's see. Oh yeah, she's well within range. Uh, I'm going to uh, use my Bomb of the Summer Court energy pool to uh, heal Fritz Ooh. for uh, 1d6. And uh, she'll also gain one temp HP. So let me just- uh, Thank you. No problem. Oh, hey, five. So six, uh, well, five plus one temp HP. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I think that's basically you back up to full. Uh, can't do anything about the fairy fire, though. But yeah, that's uh, action, bonus action. That's me sorted out, and I don't want to move too far away from the flag, so I'm going to stay right, here. All right, wonderful. Fritz, mm -hmm. your turn. All right. Um, all right, then. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stay on my word from Buck and move back up with Lyra. Uh, and I would like to... Word's heart sinks. Uh, He's left alone. I'll just, uh, 
I'll just lose concentration on my Hail of Thorns over there and recast it over to these two. Uh, da, 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 mm. oh. Fuck. Well, you don't have Hail of Thorns <laughs> anymore, so you'll have to cast it again okay. if you, if you want to use it. That's fine. I wanted to cast it again anyway. Mm -hmm. um, All right. I will... Oh, wait. Yeah, my range is fine. I'm going to cast it again, and you know what? This, fer this fairy, it's on. It's on. I'm going at this fairy. Oh, um, boy. Let's first fire my crossbow, and if that hits, then I'll roll Hail of Thorns. Unfortunately, the 11 is not going to hit. It's going to go a okay. little wide into the water. But luckily, your Hail of Thorns doesn't go away. Mm -hmm. So mm. I cast that right. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. you cast it correctly. Yes. Okay. Sorry, yeah, I'm it goes into the water. You just see a boop. <laughs> Okay. Right. I think that's all. Yeah, word. Your yep. turn. You're in the water. What am uh, I? The goblin has uh, lost its attention on you because now it's got a, a bugbear that is three times its size. Fine. I'll end that stupid fairy myself. Oh, jeez. And I'll reload my short bow again and try and shoot at all it. All right. At advantage, since you are doing <clears> it out of stealth and she has not noticed you. Okay. Let's see if you crit. Nope, nice. but that's uh, still a good hit close. and a good attack. You nick her in the side and just like phew, phew, and she just like ah clutches to her side she is now very close to there's several more where that came from if you get close to our flag <laughs> and then i will use my bonus action to try and hide again rogues all right try and rogues. hide again i'm in the water i'm a little That's crocodile rogue this whole this whole session crocodile rogue. 16. Crocodile yeah, rogue. it's just, just like crocodile rock um and then I will stay right here. I'm just gonna guard our flag and put everyone on their team down first. Whoa, I guess that is the most efficient way to win capture the flag. Yeah, apparently, yeah. Yeah. Just start swinging. And that's the end of my turn. All right. With a stealth of 16. Next is the blue team. <clears throat> Good so, showing everybody. <laughs> the fairy and goblin both look at each other and like wink and then do like a secret handshake from afar. And they Good. are both going to cast shatter at different points. Hmm. The goblin is going to cast Shatter squarely on Buck. Buck, oh, no. give me oh. a, what is it, constitution saving throw. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh all right. Is that so a, that is, is fail? unfortunately going to fail. No. So you're going to be taking 3d8 and be knocked into. Jeez. You're going to take Ooh. 10 damage, and you are going to be pushed i it assume that's force push. damage is that right this is thunder damage because it's a loud okay. noise as a loud crack rings in your ears uh actually no i'm mistaken this does not push anything it's just a big huh? old nuke i was oh. mistaken this for thunderclap mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> and the yeah, shatter's good for breaking windows and stuff. yes this fairy is going to do the same just target point right here and uh -oh. Fritz and Lyra, both of you, con saves as well. Con okay. save, roger that. Do, 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 do. Fuck. <laughs> I crit what? I, I got a nat 20 and now I'm I'm feeling, I'm now I'm paying for it. I'm paying for it. Does a, does a 16 save? Uh, a 16 does save, a four, a four yes. does not. I'm rolling the damage. No. So. <laughs> okay, you guys were lucky. Uh, Fritz, you're going to take five thunder damage as there's okay. a loud ringing in your ears and kind of your goggles just like vibrate just almost like a bell. Ooh. And uh, Lyra, you are going to take two and the fairy is going to fly directly towards the flag Whoa. as is the uh, the dragonborn is going to run up and he is going to take his axe and slam it into the ground making tremors uh, to which only Lyra has to make this uh, dexterity mm. saving throw. Dexterity saving throw, certainly. Oh, you're good okay. At those. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, you're not. You're a cat. Plus zero. I. You'd think. <laughs> don't, don't stereotype me. Uh, that's true. I, my mistake. Eleven. Well, you are going to fall prone, my friend. Thanks. As he brings his axe down and makes a massive quake of the earth, and you fall on your butt. Do I need to make a concentration check? Or something? No, you took no damage. You just fell. I on took your damage butt. last time. Oh, you took damage last time. How much damage? Oh, yeah. yes, that's right. Two you points. Uh, two points. So yeah, roll a con save, uh, DC ten. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna roll a normal die, I guess. 
Uh, wait, is it con save you said? Con save, yes. Oh, okay, sorry. There we go. Okay, yeah, you keep your concentration on your. Hooray! Bonds, but you All are right. prone. Goblin's still trapped. Yep. Okay. The, uh, <laughs> you can see the armored, uh, woman, the armored, uh, satyr. That's it. Is climbing, and you can see she's panting a little bit. She climbs up, gives you a little two finger salute as you're on the ground, and uh -huh. goes and grabs the flag. No! Oh, no. But that was basically all of her movement. Okay. And, uh, yeah, the goblin is gonna see. No, the goblin's stuck again, still. The mm -hmm. goblin is not going anywhere. Mm hmm. So, yeah, Buck, now it's your turn. DM. Uh, bugbears have a feature called long limb, which increases my range of my reach by five Ooh. feet. Can I grab the flag from where <laughs> from I am? From there? Oh, oh my gosh. Yes, <laughs> that's <Stretch>. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I go, go gadget, bugbear, I grab <laughs> the flag. Go, go and I gadget. say, nothing gumbo, personnel, gumbo, no. kid. And then, <laughs> um, I guess... Before I do that, I will try to blind him once again with my ray of light feature. Show me the ray uh, of light. <laughs> yes. Uh, he just makes a he just makes a con save. It's okay, as long as right. Or sorry, a uh, yeah, con saving throw Ooh. DC twelve. Okay, he fails. Take his How life much damage? With the D10. Uh, All one D six. Right? I don't know if there's a way for there's me to. Six? Oh, hold on. Let me figure out how to roll. Just a. Sorry, go, sorry, go sorry. Gadget bugbear arms. Cool. So All he's right. also uh blinded until the start of my Ooh. next turn. Man, you guys are Whoa. messing up this poor wizard. Transporter okay. clone buck. Uh, so so if that I'm is, here... That is 20 feet. You are going to take um, a damage if I do fall that. damage. Yeah. That's that's fine. Um, before I do that, is it an action or anything, or a bonus action or anything to grab the flag? A bonus action, yes. Oh, well, then I would not have um, oh, done okay. my blinding thing. Sorry about that. You couldn't okay. uh, use an action to do oh. it instead? Can, yeah, can I use I, an action instead? I'll say yes. I know it's in the rules that you can't, but I, I like the versatility of being able to use a bonus action as an action instead. And you can also technically interact well, with an object as part of a move action. Uh, my I don't know if my you know point what? is... I like that one. So yeah. didn't even cost an action or a bonus action? It was just... Yuck. Yeah, I, I like that. It's I like, like that opening rule. a door. I'm say movement action to grab it. Perfect. Movement action to grab. Okay, so I will go down here, and that's only five feet of movement, but I'll take the fall damage. Yep, fall damage, and you um, take, ooh, you take a hefty fall. You take a five points of falling damage. Oof. That's oh, no. okay, because Whoa. I'm still raging, so it should be, Eight. assuming oh, it's that's bludgeing, right. you it's going to be reduced. Damage, reduced. So. Two. Yeah. so is it two, is or, it two three? or three? It's two. You round down. Two, two damage. You round down to this house. Okay, I'm still doing okay. <laughs> uh, so I've done, you've I done five. Embroidered. I would like to go here with 25. Mm-hmm. And then uh, with my, I'll use an Sorry. action to dash, and I'll get here. Mm, nice. Boys. And my flag, with the baby. flag as you're running back, the crowd is roaring and erupting louder and louder <laughs> as you get closer and closer. I'm like out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> you got oh gosh, of money I'm like, look, I'm taking in the scene that I, I can't see word at all, um, but I'm taking in the scene. Where's word? He's so stealthy. <laughs> Very nice. Don't know. Next, Lyra, you're prone. You have a uh, tall, armored person, right, basically yes. standing above you. Right. Uh, okay. Um, getting up from prone costs half my movement, right? Yep. Fifteen feet. Yeah. Okay. Well, right now I'm shifted, so my walking speed increases by ten feet. So I believe it takes me twenty feet, but then I have twenty feet left. Uh, <laughs> not that I'm gonna ah. really use any of it. I. Uh, right. Yeah, um, yeah, I just want to, I'm going to cast Thorn Whip on her. Ooh, Thorn Whip. Show me the Thorn Whip. Yes, uh, I mean, it's range 30 feet, uh, instantaneous, and, oh, well, <laughs> dang it, I can't choose a direction she gets pulled in. She just gets pulled 10 feet closer to me if she fails, <laughs> uh, it's okay. well, that's she's a shame. She's already next uh, to you, so nothing She's will already right next to me, but that's okay. It does some damage, uh. So I'll just hacha. Hacha, thorn whip. Uh, Ooh, that, that looks is... like it doesn't hit. Nope, it no, pings off of her armor. Sheesh, guys. Okay. Uh, well, that was casting a spell, so that would have been my action. So, well, my my plan B will happen next round. But uh, for my bonus action, I will uh, fire off another bomb of the summer court die. This time to heal uh, Buck 
on account of how he just got whacked a little bit. Uh, right? Little I'm not whacked. misremembering, right? Yeah, got I, got, a I got whacked. I got right, whacked yeah. and then I got fall hurt. Yeah, that, yeah, okay. Here I we was go. fall guys for like a quick second. <laughs> okay, uh, that heals you three and it drops another one temp HP on you. Nice. Um, let's see. <sighs> yeah, I, th I think I'm good. Uh, use my movement to get up. And I don't really want to move out of range of this lady since I do want to get the chance to opportunity attack of DB. So I think that's my turn. All right. Fritz. Okay. I'd recommend just raw damage on this satyr lady who has the flag. She's on her last legs. Or the fairy. True. I could. It's your call, though. I mean, no, no, no. There's I, also I appreciate your fairy nemesis. <laughs> yeah, but I, want, I would rather friends over foes, you know? Um, mm -hmm. All right, then. I'm going to look at this lady. I'm not going to like that they are hurting my friend. And I'm going to do what I did before, but this time I have another one. Dagger. <laughs> oh, throwing that's it at a you. dagger. Ooh, that that is a mighty dagger. Oh, she's knife. real close. You throw it <laughs> and it kind of jabs into another one of her shoulder plates and just. And she is so close, you guys. Oh my gosh. Um, and then, can I use my. Wait a minute. Uh, huh? Does Hail of oh. Thorns, does that. Were... No, it oh yeah, because it didn't go wait, off last I'm... time. It carried wait, over, and you didn't lose you concentration. Question the, though, yes, the target does it count of the as attack. Throwing? Yes, the only way it's going to work is if it counts as a ranged attack. Does throwing, throwing a dagger you count? Yes. Yes. Dagger dagger is a ranged attack. That is a ranged well, attack. No, Roll the d10. Says, hold on, hold on. It says ranged Weird. weapon. I know how thick all these things. Can all be. right, she picks up the flag and she <laughs> kind of looks over at Lyra, kind of when she was on the ground and just kind mm -hmm. of like a, a tilt of the head of like, maybe next time. And then looks up to you and you throw a dagger <laughs> at her. And she's just like, oh, all right. <laughs> and almost like concedes as she falls to the ground. <laughs> she's knocked out. Yay. Nice. Flags back on the menu. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Don't very touch nice. my friend. Hail of Thorns coming in clutch. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else you want to move at all? Um, yeah, actually, I would like to move in between Buck and this person. Okay. Just kind of like here. All right. Cool. An escort. Nice. Actually, hold on. How much did... Oh, yeah, I can move next to him. I'm, I'm an escort. Nice, nice. Next word. Yeah. There we go. Look, yeah. You I am right. launching an arrow. Who are you attacking? At that that smelly, smelly fairy. The smelly fairy. She did not <laughs> notice you. She's too focused on the flag, and you fire, and she is reaching for the flag, and you fire at her, and it <laughs> just knocks her out cold. She falls to the to the ground, just thump. Nice and shot. the crowd yeah, cheers. Dust. Violence. <laughs> Ooh. And then I will slowly, like, clumsily climb out of the water like I'm getting out of a pool. <laughs> And just stare down this 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 big hunk right here. You can hear your lackeys kind of in the crowd. Yeah, that's our boss. <laughs> I don't know how to say Mukta the likes you. She come out the fucking water. Oh my god. <laughs> so supportive. Go get it, Buck. That's my turn. Blue team uh, is going. So this guy is going to notice that two of his teammates are out. So his best chance is probably to grab the flag himself. Oh no. So he is going to dash once again. Just a lot of dashing today. So that is actually going to be 30. He's going to dash, grab the flag. Actually, he doesn't need to dash. He's gonna grab the flag and he's gonna chuck it. What? Whoa. He's going to chuck it. And it's gonna reach boop, boop, over here. On oh, top of this top mine. platform. It, Ting, 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 lands on the ground. And uh, he just uh, calls out to his goblin friend, Jorbib, do your thing! And Jorbib. He's still blinded, right? He is blinded. Is He's blinded. blinded until the start of my next, until the start of my turn. He is blinded. And he. My, what an unfortunate turn of events for him. <laughs> is going to call out. It's like, I'm trying to do my thing! And. He is going to try and get out of the... He finally gets out of the vines. Oh, I'm so proud of him. <laughs> but he is going to have to dash through since it's difficult terrain. And he's just like, uh, damn druids, uh, stinking vines. Uh, and he kind of plops Rude. down and tries to run 
he's gonna dash and try and climb this platform. How much was that? So that's mm -hmm. how how blinded is blinded? <laughs> Just out of curiosity. Blinded. He can feel out the terrain, but it's gonna give him disadvantage to like grab things and attack things. He can feel mm. it. He's like touching the ground around him, and like he can feel the cold of the water. Yeah. <laughs> so he might have trouble actually picking up the flag wherever it is. He just heard mm. it once. It's a mystery. But that's going to be his movement. And uh, the Dragonborn looks at you, Lyra, and he, he's just like, uh, no offense to my teammates, but uh, nice hit, by the way. Oh, well, thank you. Thanks, Buck. I'll look down at, I'll look up at Fritz and down at Word. I, I'm going to assume you two can get that flag. I'll see you at the base. Fritz, bring me up. I can go back down. And then... Yeah, I'll, I'll get in to combat with this guy. All right, and he oh, sees you coming up with the flag, and uh, he just kind of cracks his knuckles a bit. Hello, friend. You've got something of mine. Oh, boy. Just go ahead and try and take it, then. Right. And I, I'll use my bonus action to try and hit him with the beam of light. Ooh, all right. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's see. He has rolled a four, so... Oh, nice. Ooh, give me that d6. Line. Uh, ah. All right. He is blinded, though. He is blinded. It just kind of zaps and, like, just ping off of him. He, like, doesn't flinch at all. It's as if he did nothing to him. Just, like, a little scratch on his shoulder. And he reaches over at it. And he's just clutching his eyes. Oh, that's smart. <laughs> so he is going to be blinded. And at this point, the goblin is no longer blinded as okay, well. Okay, sweet. Not restrained either. And that's my that's my turn. Rad. Lyra. Yes. Uh, well, I'm glad I don't need to fight the Dragonborn because that wasn't going to go super well. Uh, instead, mm -hmm. I'm going to look back at where the goblin is attempting to beeline for the flag. Uh, <laughs> and I'm just going to cast Entangle again. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think that this guy's had it too good for, you know, Criminal. the last six seconds. Um, oh so I'm just going to obviously drop concentration on the first one. The vines all wither, uh, just in case those in chat need a reminder. Uh, and then <laughs> let's just hacha. Oh, my um, gosh. Yeah, I mean, same as before, DC 12 strength save. And even if it's not, it's the area still becomes difficult to rain around him. The, the uh, in fact, was I'm actually, gonna... yeah, hold on, let's see. Yeah, no, I'm going to nudge it a little that. bit closer. Oh, good. Uh, I was hoping to just make it like the, the whole path he was going to have to walk to get to the pyramid is difficult to rain, but this works too. All right, hold um, on. Let me, let me move him. There we go. Like the whole yeah. path, basically. <laughs> You can yeah. see the chat, uh, not the chat, the crowd, which is basically the chat, I guess. The crowd was like starting to cheer him on a little bit. And then as you cast <laughs> another one, they all kind of laugh and chuckle and go, aww. <laughs> uh, fantastic. Um, yes. Uh, all right. That's... You hear one that, that's like, let him play, ref. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, well, I mean, that was uh, an action. Yeah. Um. I can't really use any of my bonus action options, so I think I'm just gonna uh, sidestep a little bit so I'm no longer uh, directly proximate to the, what I assume is about to be a barbarian fight, <laughs> uh, but I'm still on the, uh, also if Buck wants to hand me the flag, he can, but also does not have to. <laughs> um, I can just kinda stick around and play defense. All right. Next is Fritz. Oh, you see right. that the flag I is on the top lift. of the platform. How, how tall is this platform again? So 10, 5, uh, 20, 30. 30 feet. So you can fly okay. upwards 30 feet. Um, but that would be my full movement, wouldn't it? It would be. Fritz, this already, is a team game. I'm I need already, a lift. Oh, oh. You, you need a lift? Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> is he in with distance that I don't have to do the five feet? I just grab him. You could is possibly chuck <laughs> word onto the platform. Oh, no. I do not trust my... <laughs> I mean... I'll take I, it. I, I may be a big bird, but I don't know about my strength. Um, oh, wait. Could I use... No. Athletic, athletics and acrobatics wouldn't do that. Um, I weigh a total of like 40 pounds. <laughs> All right. You know what? I'm a, I'm a grab word with my claws. Right. And I'm going to fly as high as you allow me, which is 30 feet, right? 30 feet. Yep. That's your full flying I, speed. And, and I'm um, a, I'm a chuck yep. em. <laughs> Chuck em. 
Every time, every time you pick word up, his eyes sparkle, and I dreamed a dream by Susan Boyle plays in his oh. head. <laughs> uh, what do I roll for this, Chuck? You will roll a dexterity check, just a full-on dexterity, because word is uh. a ranged weapon, apparently. And word, you're going to need to <laughs> roll me an acrobatics check to see how well you land. Oh yeah, take one of these. Fifteen. Nice. All right. Oh, that's, All right. That's good. Fifteen okay. and ten. Okay. And I'm gonna say you make it onto the platform, just about to do. You do the video game like hanging off the edge, like whoa. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but you are up there. Oh, yeah. Sonic animation. Yeah. Y'all, yeah. I punted him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anything else you want to do, Fritz? I'm okay with it. Um, oh, that was only my movement, wasn't it? All right. That was um, your movement. You know what? <clears throat> Ooh. <laughs> um, so, little dragon guy <laughs> over here. Uh, how about you taste this? Ooh. So polite. Unfortunately, he doesn't taste it as uh, it just uh, kind of. Yeah. Is Halo Ball uh, still going? Uh, no, it's only per uh, your last shot. Like, the, because... it's the next shot that you land. Also, I don't think he beat Be his AC. Because the Dragonborn has the blinded condition, oh, he sh that's it should right. have advantage. advantage. You have advantage because he's blinded. Ah. You can roll again, and we will take the higher one. Uh, da, 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 da. You are correct. I forget that because I, I'm 13? just like, oh, they're blinded. 13 does not hit, sadly. That's okay. Very close, though. Very close. I'm being you a fire nuisance. It, <laughs> and it, it lands like in his little bear claw like tabard thing that he's got around his neck, but it just doesn't sink all the way through. And then he just like clutches at it. He's like, hey, that's my nice bear rug. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, no worries. I can, find a, I can hunt a new one. The dog Next. always has nice ones in stock. <laughs> They're all so jovial. So Word. Focus on fighting. It's me. All you right. Like a blue belly scurrying <laughs> under a log, I use my dash action to move a total of 90 what feet, dropping where I can to take damage. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, yes. Did I get back up on the stage? And then bonus I'm dashing as a rogue. Dash. Oh, it's glorious. Yeah. Go, little thing. Go, little fella. <laughs> God, good to know I'm a the man trailer with was a name. accurate to your speed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a single frame motion blurred. That's all we see of him. I single handedly won the game. <laughs> I didn't need any help. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody did anything but me. I took a bath and then won. You can hear a bunch of kobolds chanting, boss, 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 boss. <laughs> boss. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Uh, next I mean... is the blue team. And uh, you, the dragonborn is uh, kind of like nodding his head. Yeah, I am the boss, ain't I? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. They weren't talking about Aww. you, I don't think. Uh oh, well, <laughs> well that's a shame. <laughs> oh, well, I'll be taking that flag now. And he's going to take his axe and try and swing for you at disadvantage, of course. Ooh. Oh, he goes and he makes a crack in the concrete. Just Ooh. like, poof. Misses. Uh, gone. <laughs> and he lifts his hands and he just kind of like goes, well, I guess that's me then. <laughs> and you can see the goblin over here is just like, oh, come on! And just tugging <laughs> at, the, at the vines. And a horn sounds out. As it's pretty clear who the apparent victor is in this encounter. <laughs> okay, so, yes. We do that a lot, we did it twice. You guys uh, complete, you bring the flags back. And at the conceit of the dragonborn, the crowd erupts into a cheer as Elias slowly descends back into the arena. Let me find him. His gosh dang token. If I can't even I'll go find pick it. Up the fairy. Hold on. I'll unrestrain Technical the goblin. It seems only polite. <laughs> I'll do the predator handshake with the, uh, the buff <laughs> dragon. Boy. Yeah, he yeah. just takes it, big muscles. Do you know what? <laughs> Can I offer to help up the one on the floor? Yeah, I'm gonna fire off a couple cure light wounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. So just mm. seems you guys polite. help out. Also, a couple of uh, mages come through the barrier to give them a little bit of healing as well, as well as you guys. You guys are going to receive eight you hit were points. You beautiful and you scared eight. me. Hey, all of you each go up by eight hit points. Cool. I took two out of my temp hit points, mm -hmm. so I appreciate the gesture. I, but think, I, put... I think that just puts me back to full. I took nothing. Okay, cool. Heyo. 
<laughs> boss is undamageable. <laughs> you cannot hurt the, the boss. boss. Is an idea. Offering a wing to the. <laughs> it's a phenomenon. Okay. <laughs> and as Elias comes back down to stand on the top platform, uh, he has a massive grin on his face, cheeks way up, nearly entirely closing his eyes. <laughs> I never tire of this. Congratulations to the red team. You have claimed victory and thus the task of bringing the five dragon hearts of Olynthe to Quarencia will fall to you. Well done. And the entire crowd claps and erupts. And you can see... Big bow again. Yeah. You can see as Elias is giving his congratulations, a few of the mages... Uh, dismiss the magical barrier quickly. A few of them kind of go up to him to talk. You assume they are refs and stuff. Hmm. Um, and the other team, they seem to be taking it well. They're they're kind of smiling and kind of uh, kind of patting each other on the back and taking it well. Except for the fairy who is pouting and kicking the grass, arms crossed Aww. and not even stealing a glance in your direction. She also quickly pushes off the healer once they're done, and the rest of her team try kind of try to call her Look, over, but she just refuses. The only reason I filled you with arrows is because I was scared of your beauty. <laughs> make what? a make a what? charisma check. <laughs> okay. Oh, please uh, be the face of this party. What, Where persuasion? Nope, just straight charisma. Uh, okay, how do I, hold the on. Boss <laughs> the boss oh. Riz. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Attempted Riz. It's hard to flirt. I'm when sorry, I meant your booty. She just turns her head <laughs> at you. Her eyes are big, and you have a feeling that if it weren't for the fact that you are in a civilized society, she would murder you right now. <laughs> and she flies off. Ooh. And you can see the um, the other satyr uh, walks up, and she's just like, oh, don't mind her none. She just... Uh, has a little bit on her mind. Who? I forgot who I was standing next to. <laughs> I come back. Yeah, up. you can. <laughs> Thank you, though. Stoically pretending not to notice, we're absolutely striking out there. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> and she extends a hand. Jade Verdugo. I'm the the one draped in furs is Koriak. Casty fellow over there is Jorbib, and the feisty one is Kip. She's um, not great at taking loss. I'll shake her hand. <laughs> she, she's got a firm Deep handshake. respects to you and your skills. Wait, say again. So you're they may come in handy when we return from our journey. <laughs> okay, here. Let me let me put it in. Um, so her name. Oh let yeah, me put please. It in, is Jade. Yeah. Ba 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 Verdugo, which shares the last name with Elias Verdugo. Oh. oh. So is that your? Oh, uh, that makes sense. Your old man, or what? Uh, hold on, let me see. Jorbib oh, is the goblin, and Jorbib the goblin. Kip is the fairy, and she mm. kind of shrugs her shoulders uh, a little bit. Elias is my uncle. Luckily, he ain't ever let that mean I got things easy. Damn goofball trained me by starting me in dragon, startling me in dragon form. <laughs> she kind of looks up. Uh, to him on the platform as he's talking to a bunch of people, laughing, having a good time. On time, had a big eye staring right into my window in the early morning. Soon as to wake me up and gave me a deep bellowing peekaboo. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> bastard. Charming. I, uh, in fact, I recognize you. She points over at Lyra. Uh, Lyra, yes. sorry. Yes, so close. <laughs> Lyra the kobold in the yes. stands like, oh, me! <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I'll, I'll be honest, I feel like I've probably seen this woman before, but have gone mm -hmm. out of my way to not make eye contact or talk to her, <laughs> just on general principles. I was a good match. Probably a sign that I'm getting a bit too old for this, after so many years going on the pilgrimage myself. It's about time someone else had a turn in my spot. Your experience showed through. You fought very well. As did you. And I can tell that, uh... Shimea's successor is a good fit, as is the lot of you. I mean, the battle was predetermined. You were up against us. <laughs> <laughs> she she shrugs her shoulders a bit. Uh, I guess I should have known that, huh? <laughs> you learned. 
you're growing as a I'll person. I'll be sure to mark down that lesson. I deeply appreciate your grace in this situation. <laughs> oh, well, it was only a matter of time. I'm starting mm. to... Uh, she kind of pushes her back a little bit and she looks over at Koryak. Your mind, friend. And he's just like, oh, yeah, of course. And he just like takes one big fist, punches her in the back and you hear a crack. And oh. she's like, ah, oh, that's right. Right there. <laughs> Ooh. How many has it been? Um, five in a row now? Oh, I've really got to stop doing this. But I think that's a sign. Five journeys to collect the hearts? Aye. Got any advice de- for us? Uh, five decades. Wow. <laughs> My goodness. Impressive. Any advice for a group that's about to head out on... And I'm looking at my teammates. I think all of our first time going on a journey like this. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yes. She kind of um, scratches her chin a little bit looking around. Uh, the goblin pipes up, uh, bring snacks. And you see the dragonborn is like, bring blankets. <laughs> and... Uh, I'm definitely she... writing these down. <laughs> snacks, 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 today, snacks, snacks, today snacks, speaks blankets. up again. And be sure to make difficult decisions. It might not much matter what the outcome may be, but so long as you make the decision and you're able to do it. I know my first time I froze up a bit and it caused more harm than any help, but doing something's probably better than doing nothing. Making difficult decisions. Thank you. I, being the pilgrims, a lot of people are going to look up to you as being some sort of arbiters, even though... Most of the time, and I mean this as no disrespect, you're no do- you're no different from any normal people like me or Koryak or even Kip over there. But they'll look up to you. You're more of a symbol now. Hmm. Hear that word? Someone's going to have to look up to you for once. <laughs> they already do that. I want more people to do that. <laughs> it was a pun. Never mind. Looking at <laughs> um, another direction. Should... Any other direction. <laughs> we should... Uh, thank you. Oh, I get it. That no, that was clever. I, I I'm gonna look the other way now. It, we should prob- thank you for the advice, but uh, I, f- I figure we should probably get on with the um, finishing of the ceremony or talk Aye, to the you're right. dragon. Let me, or- let me go grab the old man. Oi! And she calls out. You can see that Elias has been completely lost in conversation. You're just gonna stand there talking with the referee, or you'll be lifting the hands here of this here adventuring party. And uh, Elias is like, oh, oh, my apologies. And he stops conversing with the reps and healers. You can tell it was absolutely nothing official. They were just shooting the shit. Uh, (laughs) He kind of slowly, just like step by step, goes down uh, to meet you in the middle. He's just kind of holding his back. Just like, come on, come on. Like kind of asking you over. Yep. Come on now, come on. Uh, Sorry, Karyak, I feel bad, pal. Line up. If you need a new one, tell the doc it's on Fritz. <laughs> they all wave at you, and you see Elias lines you all up. Oh, stand there. There we are. All right. Satya, I give you your champions. Elias looks to you and whispers, well, go on, take take another bow. B- big uh, bow. Another bow. bow yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the bow. crowd cheers mm-hmm. again. And just as... They are. Mm-hmm. And the st- sky begins to darken. Uh-oh. <clears throat> oh, that doesn't sound like triumphant yeah. hero music. <laughs> <laughs> but this time, all over the hills, not just near the arena. And the crowd's cheering turns from joy to confusion. Then, Elias takes a moment to look over at Jade, who widens her eyes at a sudden revelation. A rumbling thunder breaks out, as dark clouds cover the sky, a pitch black as the night. And dark raindrops begin to fall all over. Uh DM, do I know exactly what this is? You know exactly what this is. As pools of it start to layer and pile all around, it's the blot. Oh, no. Everybody take cover right now. Yes, crumbs of it fall 
from both into and outside the arena, scattering itself amongst the grassy hills, but a majority of it surrounding you all. The crowd begins to panic and trip over themselves from their seats. Elias transforms back into his dragon form, which I'm going to drag out in very not clunky fashion. You gotta drag it in, you could say. That's why at you. (laughs) (laughs) And he transforms and he looks to you all and agrees with Lyra uh, with a command. Yes, you all. I will fight off the blot and attempt to draw its attention. You take the civilians out of harm's way, however you can. All right. To which, what? What's up? Oh, I was just. No, we're, we're just yeah. acknowledging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jade pipes up. No way, you're, you're. We're leaving you behind, Uncle. You'll get overwhelmed. We've not had this much blot in Satya for years. You gotta practice. They'll kill you. And Elias pipe who speaks up. I am old, but I am still dragon. I will be fine. The people of Satya need you, just as all of Alente will. Now, go! And so now, you have... I'm going to break character and present Mm -hmm. on a meta level to make it absolutely clear you have a decision Mm -hmm. here. You can either assist in escorting the civilians or you can assist in helping Elias focus on the kind of corralling and fighting the blot. Picking one will allow you to do a little bit of the other, but you are deciding where your focus will be. What will you do? Do we have to decide That's a as a party group? decision, yeah. right? Yes, yeah. as a party. Uh, okay. I am in team, let's help the civilians. Yeah, me too. I can okay. carry a few on my back. My people need me. Okay. Yeah, I, I won't fight against the rest of the party. Mm. Well, I can carry can a few your people feel. on my back if you need. Then you are helping I... the civilians. You are following Elias' command, and Jade looks... At Elias, a little bit hurt at him, not at you guys, um, but she yeah. just kind of shakes it off and follows his instructions, um, unwillingly, but doing so anyway. Mm-hmm. So we're going to roll a new initiative, and we're going to do what's called a skill challenge. Oh okay. boy! <laughs> <laughs> what this uh, may be is that you are going to use your various skills to progress oh, oops. this encounter in order to help the civilians. Ah. Where the heck is my initiative? With oh. each failure, you oh you risk. Oh, uh, with each failure, it is going to be a DC of 12. Ooh. And how it works is essentially, we're just doing initiative so that we know which order to go into. It's not actually combat. It's just another encounter. And you're going to use your skills in various different ways, describing what you're going to do and what skill you're going with. Uh, it kind of sucks that Fritz is going first because I have to explain it a little bit more. <laughs> uh, it's easier once you see it. But... um. Essentially, you're going to use your skills to assist, and with five successes, you will have successfully escorted everyone um, that is left to a safe location closer into Satya's uh, more urban area. However, with every failure, the risk, not guaranteed, but the risk of civilians coming to harm increases Mm, each time. Okay. Okay. And this is done over a non-determinate amount of time, right? So we can use skills for like things where we're not positioned yes, for? Yes, exactly. Positioning okay. is not okay. going to matter cool. here. I'm going to give you the benefit of the Thank doubt you. that you are going where you need to be. Right. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. So the board <laughs> is not relevant here. Okay. The board was only relevant if you had chosen the combat pl- uh, path. Yeah, so gotcha. Fritz, you're up first. Mm-hmm. Basically, you describe what you're going to do in association with a skill. Like, presumably, an example mm-hmm. that I like to use is, let's say you're stuck in a cave and you're very strong and there's been a cave-in with a bunch of boulders. You might want mm-hmm. to use an athletics check to yeah. try and move the boulders aside. Okay. Um, can I scan for how many children are in the crowd? Hmm. Uh, you can. Would you like that to be your skill Oh, will that be, like, my just, like, skill check? Okay. Um... Yes. Um, okay. Uh, the DC will be 12. Myself. Will I be able to just kind of tell who's the smallest and go for them? Or do I need to roll for that? Yeah, no matter what you do, you're going to have to roll because this is a okay. skill challenge. Um, can I... It's raining, uh, right? Yes, a drizzle, okay. a blot, and kind of some of them forming mm. into larger right. mounds about. Can I use my athletics to kind of dodge the rain and basically make my way to the crowd to start helping people? I would say that would be more acrobatics, if that's all right. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I thought I said my bad. Uh, oh, I okay. I said that's acrobatics. fine. Yeah, you can do acrobatics. Okay. That is going to be one failure. So Ooh. every 
every time you fail, I'm gonna roll a d20, and every time you <laughs> fail, more numbers, more numbers on the d20 will mean failure. Right now, only no. the one means that someone will come to harm. Okay. I've rolled okay. a 20. No one has come to harm. <gasps> I wish I wasn't going last in the initiative. I have a thing I can do. <laughs> Word. Your turn. I am going to go a bit uh, lateral. So I would like to cast both Tensor's Floating Disc and Unseen Servant. Ooh. And I'm going to collect the disabled, like the elderly and the young. Okay. And get them Since out of there. Since that nice. is casting a so, spell, I'm going to say that that does not require a skill check. Because um, that sounds like okay. the spell is just going to work without skill needed. So I yeah. will count that as an auto success. Okay. Okay, the Unseen Servant is going to go collect children and get them out of there by floating. I'm going to use the Tensor's Floating Disc to have other people help, like the elderly or the sick, onto them. Yes, and you can see some Very of your nice. lackeys are following suit as well. They're kind of like making awesome. paths, like kind of putting their, their arms out as that, <laughs> that like, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Right. That is one success. Fuck. Um, what I would like to do, and I don't know if I can rage to get advantage on this, but I'd like to use athletics. I'd like to maybe, cr like, use the hammer and maybe, like, break down some of the, um, uh, I guess, like, the stage so it's more difficult for the blot to get out. Ah, to, like, I would get say, the... yes, you can use your rage and so that you can athletics with advantage. And I don't know if what I will get, do you want me to roll on the wild magic table? Um... Does it happen see every I... time you rage? Yes. Yes. Then yes. It does. Oof. Okay. Oh, you got it, this. You got wanna... this. Ooh. Is a one, one. good what or does a bad? One mean? Uh, oh no. Um. <laughs> uh, shadowy tendrils lash around you. Each creature of your choice that you can see within thirty feet of me must make a Constitution saving. Throw. Of your choice. Okay. You can That's target good. the blot if you wish. Sure. Yes. Uh, so they have to make a DC 12 uh, constitution saving throw. Okay. <coughs> Unfortunately, they all rolled pretty well. I assume mm, nothing happens okay. if they succeed. Yeah, if they, yeah, correct. Okay. Uh, Sadly, no. These these blot piles have unfortunately I been do, too thick. I do gain too 1d12 thick. temp HP. Nice. Uh, that's good. And that's 12 of what Full I gain. The rest. Yeah, the, the other one was for what damage they would take. Right, um, right, right. Concept. But uh, okay. because I'm raging, I am going to roll. I'll roll with advantage on the athletics, the strength base check. Oh, Ooh, gosh. that's another failure. Okay, now the one and the mm. two on the d20 are failure rolls. Oh, no. You've rolled a 12. You're fine. No one has come to harm okay. yet. Okay. Layra. Yeah. Go, go, go. Um, I am going to touch Fritz on the shoulder and give her bull's strength. Um, mm -hmm. So her carrying capacity doubles, which means she should be able to carry a truly ridiculous number of small helpless people out of here. <laughs> um, yeah, I got to hold concentration on that, which limits what else I can do. Is but I think that's kind action? Of... Uh, yes. Okay. Casting time, one action, range, touch. With that spell, um, I would say, if this is okay with you... Um, yep. You don't get a success, but you also don't get a failure. You essentially give your turn to cast that spell since it doesn't yes. directly affect the crowd. Right. Uh, but also, uh, sh uh, Fritz now has advantage on strength checks. Mm -hmm. So Wonderful. any skill challenge you're doing, I believe, is that true? No. Anything it's that involves strength. strength. Le oh, okay, good. So any skill that is strength-based, you have advantage on now. So athletics. And also, yeah. Yeah. yes. Um yeah, so that that's 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 my thing. Uh, All right, Fritz, your turn again. All right, uh, you said casting spells will use our turn, right? Yes. If it takes an action. Yeah. Um, if it takes an action, if it's a bonus action, right, I'll mm. allow you to do that as well as an action. Uh, let me double check. No, this is an action. Okay. Um, I'm going to take that and nod at Lyra, and I'm gonna use my athletics to try to pick some people up. Okay, give me athletics with advantage. Yes. Do, 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 do. I don't know how to apply the advantage, but... You hold shift when you oh, uh, okay. click the button. My bad, hold on. Ah, I see. Hey, oh, that's a crit. Go. That's gonna be two successes. Also, okay. how many people Ooh. am I able to pick up with that? You pick up and fly back and forth, grabbing some people. You pick them up out of harm's way as Blot is falling from the sky, like pulling them aside mm -hmm. from falling debris almost. 
-hmm. And uh, that is two successes. You pick up a decent chunk. I'm not going to bother showing a visual representation because there are too many tokens on the board. But that's a crit is two successes. You are at three. You need two more. Okay. That's good. Well done. Word. Uh, I don't have a whole lot I can do on top of that in this situation. (laughs) I'm going to try and use my persuasion just to get the rest of my kobolds out of there. Like, they've been guiding people, but now they just need to go underground. (laughs) All right, give me a persuasion. So I'm convincing them to basically, instead of trying to help people, maybe a bit foolishly, just to get the hell out of the way. Don't be a hero. Oh, sorry. Same modifier. modifier. Mm. Still a three. No, they are all heroes. They're all, of them. all heroes. The they want to be heroes, and they'll stand by your side <laughs> yeah. till the end. It's like, that is another go on the ground, get out of here. They're like, boss, boss, boss. You can, you do have an inspiration <laughs> if you would like to use it. Yeah, okay, I'm going to be a little bit, I'm going to be harsh. I'm going to lie to them oh. and tell them that everyone else is doomed. <gasps> oh. Well, you rolled really well on that deception they, check. They look at each other and are like, well, then we got to be the ones to tell the story. <laughs> and then they all Bad run out. Chat. Live run. on, my friends. Live run, on. Chat. That is another thing. Run, chat. chat. Run. You must live. One more, and you will have escorted all the civilians to safety. Okay. Buck, Ooh. you're up. Uh, can I try to do the thing that I failed at last time? You may try it no? again. Yes. Ah, uh, just have to roll better than a six. Hey, there we go. hey, all right. let's go. You slam the ground as. A bunch of the blot that has been chasing people get slowed down and they're able to get out of harm's way and you successfully escort the civilians to closer inland towards the Satian kind of urban area as you hear the roars and and cracking of fire and dim lights happening as Elias continues to fight off the blot and you see him take to the skies as some of the blot takes to the skies with him. Today mm-hmm. was overall a success, but this bodes ill for your journey ahead. Mm-hmm. And that will be where we end today's session. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it was rough. Boy, what a mixed victory. 